Yo, what up? It's B Rat here. Yo, all right. So I did like a post where I was like saying I'm gonna do like a Q and A. Got some questions. I'm gonna do some answers there. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. So the first one's from Sergeant Owen of the U.S. Army. Wondering what the wattage is of my solar array and what's the amperage and the voltage and all that. Well. I'm going to take you to a little notepad over here and draw everything out for you to make you understand this better. It's better to have pictures with the words. It's better than me just describing it. So here we go. Alright, so for these purposes, I'm going to just draw a bus just so you can see what we got going on uh, in an illustrated format here. So here's the bus. Uh, wheels on the bus go round and round. And on top we have two solar panels, right? That's all we have right now, anyway. I'm poor, so, you know. Gotta play more gigs, get more money. Each of those guys is rated at 100 watts. Now, wired in series is how they're configured, and each of these guys is rated at 12 volts. So, what happens when you wire in series? It combines the voltage, right? So what do we got here? Then that combines to make 200 watts at 24 volts. Obviously fluctuating with different um, uh, aspects of the sun, solar system, you know, depending on cloud cover, you're going to get different voltages, different amperages. These are kind of like what they're rated at as like, you know, an average day, I guess, you know, with like sun at peak or something to that effect. Now, let's see for the amperage. All you have to do is divide that wattage, so oops, we got 200 watts divided by 24 volts, and we get our amps, 8.3 amps, so we have 8.3 amps there. So 200 watts, 24 volts at 8.3 amps. Now, what can happen then is, you know, I can you know, get another set of these guys over here and then wire them in parallel and double all these numbers except for that 24 volts. I would have like 16.6 .6 amps, which would be really convenient for the fact that um, your uh, solar charge controller maxes out at 24 volts, but you want to add more power, so you do it via amps, and my charge controller maxes out at 40 amps. Uh, more details on that in the future. Still got to put those videos together. It's a special way I want to configure that. So let's move on to the next question. So that's question one. Question two, part two of that first question, again by Sergeant Owen. What is the capacity of the 18650 cells that I'm going to be using with the solar array? Now, I got to let you guys know that's not hooked up yet, but I'll show you what I got and I'll show you what it's going to be. That's probably the best way I can answer this question. So let's get to it. So the way I have the configuration is as follows. I have the charge controller going over here to that battery. That one is rated, I don't know if you guys can see it, on there it says 139.2 amp hours. That's probably brand new. That one's used and she's a pretty big puppy. Probably by like, I don't know big <laughs> let's compare the size to the sharpie big by big by big those are the dimensions so yeah then we go over here to the inverter it's kind of a mess she's alive and breathing not alive and well yet that's when we come over to these guys these are the 18650 batteries that I have done so far now to get into those well, the configuration basically I'm going to have these guys in is I have four cells here by 12. That's just an arbitrary number. I came up with 12 because of the size factor. Uh, this four identical packs like this, I think, would come close to the size of that battery. Now, what happens here is each of these guys is between 1,800 and like 2,600 milliamp hours. So, on average, let's say we have something to the effect of like 2,000 milliamp hours, right? Each, each battery. So we have two amp hours times four cells 
equals 8 amp hours. Now, multiply that by 12. You get 96 amp hours per pack. Now, I plan on getting a few of these guys and wiring them in uh, parallel. So, 96 times 4, you do the math, you know what I'm saying? That means the power density of these guys, it like, grossly outweighs the, that which you would get in like a lead acid battery, like that guy over there. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's the configuration on that though, like with the voltage? Look, what's the difference on that? Well, each of these guys fully charges 4.2 volts, that is 3 volts. So, what my goal with this is to fuse these guys together, similar to the video like that I linked in the last time when I talked about these. Check those guys out. The, they have different ideas. I have the fuses and everything coming in the mail now, so I'm going to start soldering that stuff up. But effectively, I'm going to have to program the charge controller to fit with these, and which is something that's pretty sweet, is it has an interface that you can hook up to a computer to kind of input those voltages and uh, make sure nothing explodes. So i got to learn about all that, and then I will get back to you guys on those details. If you're interested, I'll probably do it. Actually, either way, interested or not. So, yeah, hopefully that answered your question. Let's move on to the next one. All right, on to the last couple questions we got here. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching so far. But uh, here we go. So the next one's from Felipe. I'm going to put his Instagram right over here. His question, do you even lift? I mean, nah, man, it's genetic. Uh, eat healthy. Uh... Uh, lift. I don't. I don't understand. Next question. Uh, why are you so cute? Uh, that's why I want to put that Instagram over here. Um, well, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, right? So I'm hit you with some Confucius reversal here. What about me? Do you find cute that makes you think I'm cute? There you go. Answer your own question on that one. Do the math. Like I just did. <laughs> Alright. So, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Share the videos out. Share the channel. Uh, I'm trying to put out more videos in the future. One of the next two probably is going to be the process of hanging these up. I'm kind of like going back and forth between like past and future with these videos. It's like Inception, man. But yeah, I'm trying to just, you know, get it all out there. Busy guy, you know what I mean? Trying to keep up with the music and all this other stuff, so... Keep in touch and keep an eye out for the next videos. Thanks for watching this one. Deuces.